Good afternoon and welcome. It's wonderful to be here with you all today. I'm Dr. Monique Rocca, and I serve as the college's Associate Dean of Academic Affairs. By authorization of the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System and the Colorado State University faculty, I declare the 128th commencement of the Warner College of Natural Resources and the 141st commencement of Colorado State University to be in session. <laughs> to begin our ceremony, please stand and join Ms. Michaela Fitzpatrick from the School of Music, Theater, and Dance in singing our national anthem. As a land-grant institution, Colorado State University honors the indigenous inhabitants of our local areas by opening this event with our university land acknowledgement. We recognize the importance of the land acknowledgement and of raising awareness of the contributions that indigenous people make in natural resources, research, education, and management. We strive to provide a voice for everyone impacted by natural resource policies and aim to ensure that multiple perspectives are considered in decisions that affect our environment. I'd like to invite Dr. Ricky Frierson, Warner College's Director of Diversity Inclusion, to read our university land acknowledgement, which serves as a reminder and call to action for building inclusive excellence within our associated fields of natural resources. Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and people. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other native tribes. We recognize that indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is founded as a land-grant institution, and we accept this, we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion. And significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibilities, and commitment. And now, Dr. Roca. Thank you, Dr. Frierson. Now I'd like to introduce our platform party 
As I introduce each person, I will ask them to rise and remain standing through the introductions. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Mr. Tony Chapa, Director, Center for Environmental Management for Military Lands. Dr. John Sanderson, Director, Center for Collaborative Conservation. Dr. John Moore, Director, National Natural, College, Natural Resource Ecology Lab. Dr. Dave Anderson, Director, Colorado Natural Heritage Program. Mr. Matt McCombs, State Forester and Director, Colorado State Forest Service. Mr. Rocky Coleman, Retired Master Instructor, Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Dr. Ricky Frierson, Director of Diversity and Inclusion, Warner College of Natural Resources. Dr. Donald Michaels, Director, University Honors Program. Mr. Diego Tovar, Graduating Senior, Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Mr. Rob Novak, Alumnus and Warner College Director of Communications. Dr. Rick Astor, Head, Department of Geosciences. Dr. Katherine Stoner, Head, Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Dr. Linda Nagel, Head, Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Dr. Rich Conant, Head, Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Dr. Tara Teal, Professor, Department of Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Ms. Yolanda Bevel, Vice President of University Marketing and Communications and Acting Vice President of Enrollment and Access. Ms. Janelle Beavers, Vice President for Strategy. Dr. Mary Pedersen, Provost and Executive Vice President. Dr. John P. Hayes, Dean, Warner College of Natural Resources. Let us recognize this group. Please take this moment to help me recognize our soloist, Ms. Michaela Fitzpatrick, and our quintet, Big Thompson Brass. At this time, I would like to invite Dean Hayes to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Rocca. <clears throat> Members of the platform party, distinguished faculty members, esteemed guests, and of course, our awesome graduate, our students graduating today. It, it's okay to clap now. I'm gonna try that again. And of course, our awesome students graduating today. Welcome. I'm John Hayes, Dean of the Warner College of Natural Resources, and it's my honor and great pleasure to welcome you to the Warner College of Natural Resources commencement ceremony. Wow, it is uh, wonderful to be here with you all today. Commencement is one of my favorite days of the year, and it's terrific to have the chance to share this day with you all live. It's been a difficult few years. And while I don't pretend to know all the challenges that each of you have gone through, I know that in one way or another, it's been a tough time for everyone here. And for some of you, the difficulties have been especially hard. So I hope you're doing well and as well as possible in the face of all of those challenges. I'm so proud to be standing in front of this amazing group of students who are moving along on their journeys to become the next generation of natural resource leaders and who are about to become the most recent graduates of Colorado State University. Each of you graduating today traveled down your own unique path to arrive at CSU and in many ways you also took your own unique path through your degree program. Some of you came straight from high school, others transferred in from community colleges or other universities. 
Some of you served in the military before coming to CSU to get your college degree. One out of 17 students in Warner College are veterans, the highest percentage of any college at CSU. Some of you joined us from families whose parents and grandparents attended CSU, and some of you are the first in your family to attend college. Roughly a quarter of the students. Yeah, let's hear it. Roughly a quarter of the students in Warner College are the first in their families to attend college. The journey taking by, taken by our first generation students is a transformational one for themselves and often for their families and communities as well. Some of you grew up in Fort Collins, others joined us from across the state or the country, and some of you traveled from other countries to the United States to pursue your education here at CSU. But each of you graduating today, regardless of the path that you took to get here, share one important thing in common. You are about to take your place alongside a long line of leaders who've come through CSU and gone on to shape the world and its natural resource professions. That line of leader, leaders stands, extends back over 100 years when the first classes in natural resources were taught at CSU during the dawn of America's conservation movement in 1904, 118 years ago. 118 years, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt was president. The Wright brothers had just flown the first airplane. Electrical wall outlets, crayons, and ice cream cones, and cotton candy had just been invented. And women did not have the right to vote. An awful lot has changed since 1904. But one thing has not changed. Today, as was the case 118 years ago, CSU serves as a beacon to a dedicated group of students who come through Fort Collins to educate themselves about natural resources, to hone the skills that they will use for the rest of their lives, and to go on to make important impacts in the state, in the country, and across the planet. So as you think about today, most of you probably call this ceremony graduation. And many of you think about this as the end point of the undergraduate experience. A time to look back, celebrate the accomplishments you've made during a time, your time at CSU. But we actually don't call this ceremony graduation. We call it commencement. A commencement, it's not a closure, not an end point, but it's a beginning and a start. And that really is what today is all about. Certainly we're here to recognize the successes and all the tremendous achievements that our graduates have made during their time at CSU. But more importantly, we're here to bear witness to the turning of a page and the commencement of a new chapter in life. The opening of a new door and the opportunities that a college education enables. For the graduates here today, and for many of the rest of you as well, today will forever serve as a marker in time. Today is one of those handful of very special moments that are defining points on life's timeline. From here on out, many of the things that happen to you will forever be described as having occurred before this day or after this day and parts of this day will be engraved in your memory in ways that yesterday and tomorrow won't be. It's truly a special day. Our students graduating today have worked long and hard to arrive at this point, but as they well know, the path taken to arrive at this ceremony was not a solitary one, and there was a community that stood with our graduates as they traveled along in their journey. So in closing my introductory remarks, there are four very important groups of people that have been instrumental in that journey that I'd like to recognize today. The first 
is your fellow students in Warner College who shared the journey with you, stressed over exams with you, learned beside you, and traveled with you through all of your adventures here at CSU. Many of those people moved from being strangers to being friends and colleagues. And indeed, some of those former strangers will be your closest friends and colleagues for the rest of your lives. Graduating students, I invite you to tell the friends sitting beside you thanks and give them a fist bump or a high five. The second group that I'd like to recognize is a group that most of you probably don't think about when you think about the Warner College experience. Part of what makes Warner College such a unique place is our linkages and partnerships with the diversity of centers and programs involved in natural resource work. There, these relationships provide us with special insights into real world natural resource issues facing society and enhance our research, education, and service engagement in impactful and unique ways. We have a number of these programs embedded within our college, and, we, and here on the platform today, we have the leaders of five of those programs. The Colorado State Forest Service, the Colorado Natural Heritage Program, the Natural Resources Ecology Laboratory, the Center for Collaborative Conservation, and the Center for Environmental Management of Military Lands. Would the leaders of those programs stand? You're already standing. <laughs> they are good. <laughs> Thank you so much for all you do for us. Okay, you may now sit. <laughs> you gotta be, gotta be careful what's happening behind your back here sometimes. Uh, the third group that I'd like to recognize is the amazing faculty and staff at CSU a world-class group of scientists, educators, and committed individuals who've shared their knowledge and time to help our students achieve their potential. Would the faculty and staff please stand so that we can recognize and thank you for all you do for our students. And the fourth group, the fourth group is perhaps the most important group. It's the parents and spouses, the friends and siblings, and the community of people who've lent a helping hand when it was needed, who offered a pat on the back when good grades were achieved and projects were finished, who included our students on their cell phone payment plans, <laughs> and who gave encouragement and hope on days when it was needed to smooth the path to the finish line. Would the families and friends of our graduates please stand and be recognized so we can thank you for all that you have done. So at this time, I'd like to invite Associate Dean Monique Faraka back to the podium to lead today's ceremony. Monique. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Diego Tovar, graduating senior, Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, who will give our graduating senior address. Thank you, Dr. Rocca, for the introduction. Good evening, distinguished guests, family, friends, faculty, staff, those affiliated within CSU and the Warner College of Natural Resources, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2022. We did it. We did it. I'm Diego Tovar, and I'm honored to be speaking to you tonight. I'm graduating with a degree in ecosystem science and sustainability, a minor in political communication. In the fall, I'll be attending American University in Washington, D.C. 
to continue my education, getting my master's in global environmental policy. We've accomplished an unbelievable feat during an uncertain time. We're a class of resilient and ambitious individuals who work so hard to achieve our goals. Give yourself a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> through the difficult situation of COVID-19 to the Cameron Peak Fire, our class has been through thick and thin. I am so proud of us. From amazing faculty and staff to the comforting outlook of Sherwood Forest, I think we can all agree the Warner College of Natural Resources is a special place. One that has taught us to step out of our comfort zones and take a leap towards what matters to you. As I thought about what I was going to say, I reflect on my own experiences. I know there's no way to condense all of our narratives at CSU into a single view. So instead, I hope to share some impactful moments of my time here and hope it sheds light on CSU's impact. I think back to where it all started in the learning communities of Summit Hall, where I met best friends and mentors, people who have had such a profound impact on me through their support and their care, friends who I still live with today. Obviously, they just can't get enough of me. Just kidding, just kidding. It's quite the opposite. I reflect on the frequent trips my friends and I took hiking around Colorado. There were wild ram sightings near Rocky Mountain National Park, though no ram can quite compare to our very own celebrity, Cam the Ram. And of course, being from warm and sunny Austin, Texas, loving the endless snow days. Special shout out, Rachel Jackson, fellow Texan, who ventured with me, yes, who ventured with me into multiple blizzard-like conditions to build an igloo or have a snowball fight or just walk around. Our roommates would watch us leave and say, the Texans are at it again. But I digress. I share thoughts about my friends, mentors, and people I've met in Warner College, not only because they've all contributed to my life here, but because they all shared attitudes of encouragement and excitement, which taught me the mindset, just go for it. That's the motto I lived by during my time at CSU. It was always in the back of my mind in everything I did. I always remembered, just go for it. Whether it was taking a difficult but rewarding class, participating in a challenging internship, or stepping out of my comfort zone to try a new experience, I always remembered, just go for it. I reflect on my junior year when my friend Rachel and I ran for student body president of ASCSU, the student government. We fought a tough campaign trying to make a positive impact on campus. And while we both decided to just go for it, we didn't succeed. And that's OK, because when one door closes, another opens. We decided, well, they can't get rid of us that easy. So we stayed in ASCSU and created the first diversity and inclusion caucus in student government, because we both agreed, let's just go for it. Just go for it the mentality I continue to carry with me. I think of January 1st, 2020, a time of great uncertainty, a time of struggle, but also a sense of hope moving forward. I decided I was gonna write a book, a book where I could escape from reality but relate it to the wonderful lessons I've learned at CSU. I ended up publishing a sci-fi novel, The Ascendance, and now for my shameless plug, as you know I had to. It's on Amazon, or check out my website, diegotovarbooks.com. <laughs> but the reason I brought that up is because I wouldn't have accomplished this if I didn't decide to just go for it. If you told me coming out of high school, when I graduate from CSU, I participated in three internships, written a book, led many student organizations, became a national scholar, and of course, most importantly, made so many impactful relationships, I'd have said no way. But then again, I decided to just go for it. Now, we won't always succeed at everything we try. I sure haven't. What's important is that every day we take a leap of faith and make an attempt because we'll never know where an opportunity will take us. You just won't know what doors will open unless you just go for it, and that's what I want our class to remember. As our undergraduate experience comes to a close, cherish our connections and lifelong friendships we formed, and remember the journey. Think about the ups and downs and that made it unique. Think about all the go-for-it moments and how they propelled you to your dreams. It's all of these moments that have transformed us into the people we are today with goals and aspirations we'll carry forward as we leave here. As we graduate, I want us all to leave with that in mind. Never stop going for it. Always stay curious and continue the eagerness to grow as we all did by deciding to join the Warner College of Natural Resources. I'll end with a special thank you to my mom, dad, and brother and all of our family members and friends, both here in person 
and those unable to be here, but supported the class of 2022 through our experiences. Go Rams, congratulations to our graduating class, and always go for it. Thank you. Thank you, Diego, for that wonderful address. Well delivered. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I invite Dr. Donald Michaels, Director of the Colorado State University Honors Program, to come forward to recognize our University Honors Students and Honors Society initiates. Thank you. Good evening. As the director of the University Honors Program, it is my great pleasure to recognize the most recent graduates of the University Honors Program and also those earning academic distinction. The candidates for University Honors Scholar must complete a program of academic excellence, which includes honors seminars, honors courses in the major, and a senior honors thesis, while achieving at least a 3.5 cumulative GPA. These scholar candidates are wearing green regalia, and those with gold cords are also candidates for graduation with Latin distinction. This semester, we have 33 graduates from the University Honors Program at this ceremony. Will you please stand and remain standing as I call your name? From the Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, K.D. Barker. Sophia Corioso, Natasha Daney, Emma Enebo, Natalie Fitzpatrick, Marisa Granados, Gregory Hassler, Fiona Hines, Ali Lawler, Xiaowen Sun, Xiwen Sun, and Gunnar Wagner from the Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. We have Rebecca Barbier, Madison Chudzik, Emily Fitzjohn, Elena Haas, Cade Jackson, Rachel Jackson, Natalie Liberati, Emily Morton, Ayaka Paul, Ryan Schnell, and Julia Webb. Still standing, don't go down yet. Okay, the Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship, we have Adam Burke, Jenna Ditzel, Jessica Fagan, Hannah Hathaway, Isabella Valdez, and Madeline Wilson. From the Department of Human Dimensions and of Natural Resources, we have Katherine Colson, Megan McCarthy, and Nancy Orgel. And from the Department of Geosciences, Benjamin Byers. Congratulations. Welcome to the most recent class of University Honors Scholars. Good, good work. You may be seated. Now we recognize our candidates for distinction for spring 2022. These graduates symbolize the academic achievements of approximately upper 10% of today's degree recipients. Under the policy of the Faculty Council, candidates for distinction are determined as follows. Those with designation of summa cum laude constitute approximately the top 1% of the graduating class. Those designated magna cum laude constitute approximately the next 3% of the graduating class, and those designated cum laude constitute approximately the next 6% of the class. The students who have been nominated for these distinctions are wearing gold robes or the green regalia of honor students with gold cords and will be identified separately as they receive their diplomas. Please stand now. All of you have earned or nominated for Latin distinction. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. 
Additionally, scholastic achievement and professional potential are recognized by various national honor societies. Select members of the 2022 graduating class have been recognized for their achievements through initiation into Xi Sigma Pi. Xi Sigma Pi is the only national honor society which recognizes students in forestry and all natural resource areas. Students who have maintained excellent academic records and who exhibit outstanding potential for success in their respective fields are invited to membership. You will be recognized, uh, you'll be recognized by their green, white, and gold stoles. With the initiates of Xi Sigma Pi, please stand and be recognized. Well done. Congratulations. You may be seated. Many? Our master's and PhD graduates officially received their degrees yesterday in a separate ceremony. However, we want to say a special congratulations to those graduates. At this time, I would also like to recognize our student veterans graduating today wearing a white stole. Will those who have or are currently serving our nation please stand? Please join me in recognizing the accomplishments of these student veterans. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize any first-generation graduates. You are a testament to the power of a land-grant university, and we celebrate your contributions to our community. Will first-generation graduate students and their families please stand and be recognized? Now will Provost and Executive Vice President, Dr. Mary Pedersen, please come forward to share remarks for the college and confer the degrees. Thank you, Dr. Roca. So congratulations, Warner College students, and welcome family and loved ones. It's wonderful to be with you here today and to share this important live celebration. This is such an exciting time, and I know all of you are here with probably many mixed emotions of this uh, focus on commencement. I love uh, Dean Hayes' focus on what commencement really is about, and it really is about a new beginning. And I'd like to start again by taking a moment to acknowledge the outstanding faculty and staff who have supported your success and your compassionate and brilliant, really amazing leader, Dean John Hayes. Thank you. So graduates, what I would like to do is just share with you three pieces of advice. And I know that today is a day that's filled with lots of emotions and so much excitement, so you probably won't remember I'm hoping you might remember one of these three pieces of advice. And I was thinking about, you know, what do graduates who are getting ready to launch off into the next phase of their life and career and journey, the next chapter, what are some of the really key things that I feel are most valuable? And when I was teaching, I taught a senior level class, and so I spent a lot of time with seniors, and I spent a lot of time with seniors right before graduation. And they would come into my office and sit with me and basically say, I have no idea what I wanna do. I I'm, I'm graduating, but I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I'm not sure where I'm gonna go, and I've got this opportunity, or maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that. So I spent a lot of time talking with seniors. 
I also have five daughters who have graduated recently, the youngest in conservation resources in your field and discipline four years ago. And she's had about six different jobs and opportunities since then. So I can tell you, I've spent many hours with the choice of should I do this one, should I do that one. She was fortunate to have choices, but I can tell you that it was challenging during the pandemic because three of her opportunities were closed down because of the pandemic. She was gonna go work for AmeriCorps in the Santa Cruz Mountains and the Santa Cruz Mountains burned down. So that was canceled. She had so many doors closing on her during the last pandemic that she just kept saying, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So my number one, I have three Ps, and if you can remember, maybe three Ps, this will help you think about some of these pieces of advice. So my first piece of advice, and this is probably the strongest advice that I would give to my seniors before graduating and my, my daughters, is passion. What is your passion? And follow your passion. Your passion is your most important thing. Now, some of you have really strong passion. You've had it for a long time. And others of you have passions that are still developing. And maybe some of you are like, well, I don't even really know what my passion is yet. And that's okay. But when you have those opportunities in front of you, and when you have those different choices, which one calls to you from your passion? Which one is really something that excites you and you get so excited about? Because what you want to do is pursue that path that you are fulfilled with and that you are excited about. So keep thinking about what, what am I really passionate about? So that's the first P that I recommend that you pursue. The second P is persistence, and you've heard that word a lot, but I'm gonna put it in the framework of persistent, persistence with life challenges. There's gonna be many, many challenges like we've all been experiencing over the last couple of years. And as, as Diego said, I appreciate how you were talking about you know, doors opening and doors closing. There will be many doors that open and close. And what I encourage you to do is just keep knocking on as many different doors. Pursue different things and see which ones open up. And if they close, don't be too discouraged because that wasn't meant to be the door for you to go through. And don't take it as a failure. We are all going to have, quote, different types of failures in life. And if we see them really as opportunities to pursue other doors and look at it as a positive thing, that door wasn't meant for you to go through. So don't be discouraged. Look at it as, as, as a direction, a sign that you're meant to go a different way. But my other encouragement is keep knocking as many doors as possible. Keep them all open. So persistence. Continue to be resilient, flexible. As Diego said, go for it. I like that. Go for it. And, and see which ones open up. The last and probably the most important P that I would like to share with you is people. Whatever you do, put people first. Anywhere, anywhere along the journey, you're going to be meeting new people. You've made wonderful friends. You have amazing family. Appreciate them. Share that appreciation with them. Share the gratitude. Make a real sincere effort to stay connected. That's really is what is going to be meaningful, meaningful throughout your life. Mentors that you may have had or you will have in the future, really treasure those. And then you are going to become mentors. And some of you for your younger siblings or others that you know, but people, put people first. It's really an important thing and that's something that will carry you throughout your life. Whatever you do, don't forget your loved ones, those that are here supporting you, that love, nurture, show your gratitude, show your appreciation, and always remember, put, put people first. And finally, be stalwart, because after all, you are a ram, and it's in your DNA. You are leaving a wiser, stronger person than when you started this journey, and I hope you will continue to grow in that wisdom and strength, and that you will forever be a ram. So Werner College, 
of Natural Resources, graduating class of 2022. It is now time for me to confer your degrees. It is my sincere honor to formally declare on behalf of and with the authority of the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer the Bachelor's of Science degree on each of you together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Let's all recognize the achievements of this wonderful group of students. So on behalf of our entire CSU community, congratulations. So now, officially, you can actually take your tassel from the right side and move it over to the left side. Thank you, Dr. Pedersen. Would department marshals please escort the graduates to the front of the stage to receive their diplomas? Would Dean Hayes, Provost Pedersen, and Dr. Rich Conant please come forward to congratulate our graduates? Now, the Department of Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Stoyan Hansen, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Lauren M. Balsley, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Avery Lauren Ackelbein, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Alexis Oriana Tanner, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Tierra R. Stansberry, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Spencer Bond Tennant, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Seth Wallace Kimball, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Martine <laughs> Andres Morales, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Cody W. Bingham, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Cade Lee Rogers, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Katie S. Barker, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Kristen Marie Karashinsky, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Riley M. Gross, 
ecosystem science and sustainability. Tony Choi Cabrales, ecosystem science and sustainability. Catherine A. Stocking, ecosystem science and sustainability. Leah Rose Mendoza, ecosystem science and sustainability. Michelle Liana Warren, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Margaret Fitzpatrick, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. <laughs> Carlos Diego Tovar, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Brendan C. Gilday, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Marisa Rose Amada Granados, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Mark Stephen Daniels, Jr., Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Alexis Rose Foster, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Winan Zhao, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Sean Sun, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Mo Chen, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Anna Marie Montesanti, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Caitlin Rose Weber, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Katrina P. Gilman, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Jenna L. Wooten, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Yeah. Greg M. Hassler, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Samuel Frank Britton, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Blake Anthony Buer, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Abigail E. Hall, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Amelia Mishkinite, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Angelica Guzman Andrade, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Shannon L. Kirkland, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Isabel Marcella Savia, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Sophia Thomas, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Mina Elizabeth Munson, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. <laughs> Aubrey Joy Sapp, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Caitlin Iris Nicole Heinzma, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Natasha M. Daney, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. 
Christina Clara Lilligren, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, summa cum laude. Cameron Ray Anderson, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Locke McNabb Stubblefield, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Emma Catherine Enabo, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, summa cum laude. Fiona Maeve Hines, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Gunnar G. Wagner, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Yeah. Abby Catherine Lehigh, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Samantha Margaret Gill, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Kenelyn Aaron Peterson, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. <laughs> Mateo Ray Montalongo, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Spencer L. Varga, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Jack R. Martinez, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Owen Kelly Eastberg, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Brian M. Sasaki, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Kendall T. Murphy, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Benjamin Robert Walker, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Aiden Porter Franklin, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Ali Renee Lawler, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, magna cum laude. Montserrat Rodriguez Rivera, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability, cum laude. Crystal Mekon Tran, Ecosystem Science and Sustainability. Sierra Clemmy, Watershed Science. Cher Prezak, Watershed Science. Now, the Department of Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Will Department Head Linda Nagel please come up? Sydney Joanne Becker, Natural Resource Management. <laughs> Sophia Elena Palermo, Natural Resource Management. <laughs> Lucas Mark Blomquist, Natural Resources Management. William Harvey, William Harvey Natural Resources Management. Hannah Rachel Hathaway, Natural Resources Management, cum laude. Chloe Marie Arduino, Restoration Ecology, magna cum laude. Daylin Ray Judd, Natural Resources Management. T.R. Heidman, Natural Resources Management. Yeah. 
Jordan, Enrique, Tanguma, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Jack, Patrick, Printner, Forestry. Bailey, Preston Parks, Natural Resource Management. Gunho Kim, Natural Resources Management. Natalie, Karen McConnell, Natural Resources Management. Matthew Colin Hawkins, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Gabriela Maria Craner, Natural Resources Management. Joel Andrew Allen, Natural Resources Management, summa cum laude. Susan Ashley Baden, Natural Resources Management. Roxanne Lee Huffine, Natural Resources Management. Nicholas S. Beeth, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Joel Ryan Jaffe, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Adam Burke, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Isabella Amalita Valdez, Forest and Rangeland Stewardship. Alex Elizabeth Taunton, Natural Resources Management. Sophia Stratton, Natural Resources Management. Aaron Douglas Wegener, Natural Resources Management. Justin Lauren Deutsch, Natural Resources Management. Andrew Thomas Conchola, Natural Resources Management, cum laude. Mathis B. Quintana, Natural Resources Management. Ryan E. Rattery, Natural Resources Management. Benjamin Thomas Vilches, Natural Resources Management. Jack Edwin Severe, Restoration Ecology. Madeline Adele Tome, Restoration Ecology. Griffin F. Brooks, Restoration Ecology. Jessica Maureen Fagan, Restoration Ecology, magna cum laude. Madeline Ann Wilson, Restoration Ecology, summa cum laude. Taylor Zoline Bankston, Restoration Ecology. Colin Schumann, Restoration Ecology, Summa cum laude. Mario Cardoza Reyes, Natural Resources Management. Taylor Saber Adkins, Natural Resources Management. Anthony Thomas Ascalese, Natural Resources Management. Clayton Arlen West, Natural Resources Management. Samuel David Fellows, Natural Resources Management. Neil L. Kelly, Natural Resources Management. Jenna Ditzel, Natural Resources Management.
cum laude. Now, the Department of Geosciences, will Department Head Rick Astor please come up? Jedediah J. Aced, Geology. <laughs> Daniel Knight Hill, Geology. <laughs> Nathan Arthur Hollers, Geology. Felix Arturo Diaz Sanchez, Geology. <laughs> Gladysol A. Smith Vega, Geology. Joshua L. Nugent, Geology. Yasser Al Rabi, yeah. Geology. <laughs> Julie Evelyn Spawn, Geology, <laughs> Cum Laude. <laughs> Levi J. Lintner, Geology. <laughs> Isabella Marie Arauz, <laughs> Geology. Gabriela Sanchez Ortiz, Geology. Emma Grace Delisa, Geology. Anna Catherine Dudney, Geology, Cum Laude. Megan Bryant Miller, Geology. Liam Owen Simmons, Geology. John Michael Nelson, Geology. Alana Sage Marr, Geology. Lucas James Dolliver, Geology. William Joseph Fabrosini, Geology. <laughs> Kyle Ryan Piper, Geology. <laughs> Joseph Brader Porter, Geology. Now, the Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Will Department Head Catherine Stoner please come up? Emily Nicole Fitzjohn, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology, cum laude. Kaylee Brielle Lapar, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Antonio John Tarada, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Emma Louise Long, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Matthew W. Kennedy, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Tyler B. Cunningham, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Rachel Jackson, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Jillian Pouliot, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Rebecca Catherine Barbier, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology, Cum Laude. 
Elena Kate Haas, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology, summa cum laude. Grant Pegram, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Shelby Lynn Burris, Fish Wildlife Conservation Biology. Logan Patrick Johnson, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology. Christine Marie Warner, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology. Jack M. Rosecki, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology. Cheyenne T. Arnold, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology, cum laude. Margaret Rose Angel, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology. <laughs> Hannah Jean Grimes, Fish Wildlife and Conservation Biology, magna cum laude. Aislinn A. Henderson, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Sierra Lee Larson, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Emily Catherine Morton, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Macy Taylor Sonius, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology, cum laude. Taylor Marie Beach, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation, Biology. Remy Faith Havens, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation, Biology. Sarah Elizabeth Perryman, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation, Biology. Cum laude. Julia Lee Webb, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Tai Mei Mei Chang, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Piper Lily Dumont, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, summa cum laude. Michaela Maria Capalbi, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, magna cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Celeste Liberati, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, magna cum laude. Ayaka Umeda Paul, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, Cum laude. Madeline Elizabeth Werner, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Morgan Ray Hertel, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Trevon Lorenzo Robinson, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Nathan Thomas Kettle, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Kalea Sue Cher, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Samuel Thomas Woodward, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, cum laude. Madison R. Chudzik, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Elliot Patrick Fuller, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Garrett J. Peachy, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Like 
Catherine Margaret, Margaret Minier, Fish, Woo! Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Jeb D. Hartman, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Liam Mills, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Joshua Brem Waring, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Joshua L. Paulson, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Hallie Michelle Bulig, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Taylor Quinn Stout, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Ethan James Corrigan, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology, magna cum laude. Sarah A. Jackman, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Shane Michael Carlson, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Chase Hunter Newlin, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Owen A. Bayendearly, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Jesse L. Thompson, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Dawson Paul Smith, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Ryan Wade Abfalter, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Wendy Wren Munson, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Adam Christopher Sweet, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology. Matthew Allen Manjos, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Claire Ann Caldwell, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Ryan David Snell, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, summa cum laude. Gage Marshall Dean, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology. Cade Nicholas Jackson, Fish, Wildlife, Conservation Biology, cum laude. Now the Department of Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Will Department Representative Tara Teal please come forward. Carter F. Holman, Natural Resource Tourism. Braulio Ramirez Madera, Natural Resource Tourism. Nicholas V. Marco, Natural Resource Tourism. Peyton Matthew Correll, Natural Resource Tourism. Audrey Klein, Natural Resource Tourism. Annie Ray Gore, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Samantha Jane Tiffany, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Lauren Miley, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Georgia C. Davis, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Kaylin Taylor Fallick, Natural Resource Tourism. 
Grace Adele Matthews, Natural Resource Tourism. Zachary T. Martin, Natural Resource Tourism. Thomas Patrick Fletcher II, Natural Resource Tourism. Austin Robert Miller, Natural Resource Tourism. Liam R. Finnessy, Natural Resource Tourism. Zachary I. Rockvam, Natural Resource Tourism. Charles Schilling, Natural Resource Tourism. Gunnar David Gustafson, Natural Resource Tourism. Aaron DeHartog, Natural Resource Tourism. Colin Jess Max, Natural Resource Tourism. Nicholas Lundberg, Natural Resource Tourism. Alexandra Clark Evans, Natural Resource Tourism. Caitlin Elizabeth Drosheen, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Catherine Elise Colson, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, Magna Cum Laude. Peggy McAllister, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Jessica Whitney Keener, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, summa cum laude. Haley Ann Cundiff, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Morgan Sierra Brown, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Lucy Olivia Renfro, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Logan Sean Meyer, Natural Resource Tourism. Casey A. Stein, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Victoria Georgette Krantz, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Weston Patrick Henderson, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Trevor William Cowett, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Ben J. James, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Ethan B. Wagenseller, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. <laughs> Michaela Ray Hansen, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Catherine Claire Emerson, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Eliana Bazzo, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Yeah. Tessa Quinter, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Yeah. Summa cum laude. Madison Genevieve Luna, Natural Resource Tourism. Shea Olivia McEnroe, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources. Sarah Alexandra Eiler, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, cum laude. Matt Coghill, Natural Resource Tourism. 
Adriana Watson, Natural Resource Tourism, cum laude. Natalie J. Prokop, Natural Resource Tourism. Taylor D. Stevens, Natural Resource Tourism. Riley Claire Kino, Natural Resource Tourism. Christina Amber Schreiber, Natural Resource Tourism, summa cum laude. Jody Catherine Alice House, Natural Resource Tourism. Emma Kristen Thompson, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, magna cum laude. And last but not least, Joseph Oliver Allen Augsbury, Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology, and Human Dimension of Natural Resources, cum laude. Please join me in congratulating the Warner College graduates of 2022. Now, will alumnus Rob Novak please come forward to address our, Lou, our new alumni. Well, congratulations, Warner Rams, and welcome to the Warner alumni community. 15 years ago, I was where you are now, excited, exhausted, and full of swirling emotions around leaving school and entering the real world. I found comfort once I found my Warner community out in the real world, too. We often describe Warner College as a community. It's an apt description, but it's a difficult one to really objectively quantify. But it's undeniably there in so many ways. That community endures because of everyone around you right now, everyone who came before you, and all the students that are yet to come. And even though this was true of the college before you arrived, it's because of you that this sense of community has continued. It's truly a unique gift to carry forward this community legacy into your career. Coming from the Warner College of Natural Resources, truly means something in natural resource fields. I was fortunate enough to begin my career right here in Northern Colorado, leading public engagement for the Larimer County Department of Natural Resources. Many of my co-workers with college degrees came from CSU and right here in the Warner College. And throughout my network of colleagues in the state, many of them also came from Warner College. So, during the ups and downs in your life and career, never forget that you are still a part of the Warner community. You can also be sure that your university 
and the quarter million strong CSU alumni network is here for you too. No matter where your journey takes you, know that the CSU Alumni Association, your college, your former instructors and advisors will be here, rooting for your success every step of the way. Take things as they come and keep being Warner Rams at heart, and I know that you'll do great. I know too that the pride, excitement, and nerves that you're feeling right now will fuel your success. Those feelings will evolve with the passing of time. They'll deepen, mix with memories, and turn into nostalgia. And as that happens, remember that this special place will always be your home. Like the trees in Sherwood Forest, you are rooted here. Enjoy your success today, and best of luck as you go on to write your life's next exciting chapter. Congratulations on a job well done, and go Rams! It is my distinct pleasure to invite Dean John Hayes forward again to offer his closing remarks. Well, it has been a great evening, and I know you're all anxious to move on to celebrations with your friends and family, so I'll be brief. I want to address my closing remarks directly to our new graduates. Your journey through your degree program has been a unique one that took twists and turns that none of us could have imagined when you started here on your degrees. What was unimaginable four years ago suddenly became reality. During this time, we've seen a pandemic that had significant impacts on individuals, families, and communities, and completely transformed the university experience. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia threatening global stability and having devastating consequences on hundreds of thousands of people. Racial tensions and protests, bipartisan divisions and tensions at a level that seems to be tearing apart the very fabric of our country and more. We live in a difficult and dynamic time and in the face of all this turbulence and with the future that's so uncertain, I stand before you this evening uncertain if there's anything that I can possibly say that has meaning or value. But while I can't predict the future, there may be some lessons from the past that may be of some relevance to your lives and to your future. When I was growing up, in some parts of the country, African Americans were not allowed to drink from the same drinking fountains eat at the same lunch counters, or work in the same jobs as whites. Bald eagles, brown pelicans, peregrine falcons, and many other species were threatened with extinction because of widespread use of DDT. Air quality was a serious health risk in a number of US cities, and a river in Ohio was so polluted that it caught fire. When I graduated from college, there were no women serving in the U.S. Senate, and no woman had ever served on the U.S. Supreme Court. The idea of an African American serving as President of the United States or a multiracial woman serving as Vice President was something that could only happen in fictional books and movies. Much has changed since I graduated, and I think many of those changes have been positive. And while the future is always different from the past, Many of the building blocks for positive change have remained constant through time. And that's why, standing before you today, I don't feel pessimism or despair. Instead, I stand here with a sense of optimism, confidence, and hope for the future. I'm optimistic in part because I know that you've gained a solid foundation of knowledge and a quiver of tools during your time here at CSU, 
and this sets the stage for you to be successful in your careers. Many of the problems that are facing our communities and our nation and our planet have critical technical elements, and you're well positioned to contribute your knowledge to help solve those problems. But addressing many of the issues facing us will require much more than technical understanding. The solutions to the challenges that lie before us are entangled in a complex web of scientific understanding and social systems at the interface of science and society. And in many ways, those solutions will depend on relationships. Our relationships to one another and our relationship to the world that we live in. And because of this, I'm optimistic about our future. More than any other generation, you're a group that's well poised to weave together the technical and the social, the personal and the interpersonal, to find creative solutions to difficult problems. You are a generation that embraces partnership and community like no other generation that came before you. And you're a generation that's passionate about building a better future. You're a, ge you're a generation that has shown a commitment to strong community values, a passion for social justice and fairness, and a dedication to the truth and to high ideals. The passion, the creativity, the commitment, and the intellect that I've seen in you leaves me confident that you will be amongst the people that dig in, roll up your sleeves, and make the world a better place for all of us and for the future generations. That you will be amongst those who make those day-to-day, moment-to-moment efforts needed to transform our society and to build a more sustainable and a more compassionate world. If there's one piece of advice that I can leave you with, it really, it really parallels what you heard from Provost Pedersen and, and from Diego earlier. And that is that to embrace the moments that come before you and take advantage of every one of them. When I was your age, those moments seemed like they'd be infinite in number. I can assure you they're not. When a moment passes by, it's gone forever. Embrace the opportunity to make a difference when that moment arrives and that door opens. And embrace every moment that comes your way and revel in the wonders of life and the wonders of this incredible world. You can make this world a better place. And if you commit to doing so, you will make this world a better place. And so today, your, next, your new chapter begins. Go forth, build on the knowledge and the values that you gained and you refined during your time here at CSU, live successful lives and make an, a positive impact on this amazing planet that we live on. It has been an incredible honor and a great pleasure to serve as your dean. Sorry. <laughs> It's my last, last commencement ceremony. I, I thought I was going to make it through this without this. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a part of the Warner College of Natural Resources and for all you have done to make our college an amazing place. We are so proud of you, of everything that you are, and all that you will become. I wish you success and fulfillment as you travel forward to your next, next milestone. Have a terrific journey, a great evening, and a wonderful life. Thank you.
Thank you, Dean Hayes. Let us now please stand and join Ms. Fitzpatrick in singing the Colorado State University alma mater. Congratulations again to our graduates, and thank you all for joining us this evening. Families and guests, please remain seated as the platform party, faculty, and graduates exit. Graduates, please follow your department marshal back to the auxiliary gym. You can meet your guests outside at the Moby Area North entrance. This concludes our ceremony. Good night.